Leading the news this morning, Israel is celebrating the release of Gilad Shalit after five years in captivity. Thousands of people in his hometown cheered and waved Israeli flags to welcome him home. The 25-year-old soldier was freed earlier in the day in exchange for hundreds of Palestinian prisoners. The US Secretary of State Hillary Clinton has made an unannounced visit to Libya. Ms Clinton is the most senior US official to visit the country since the uprising started against Colonel Gaddafi. Her visit is aimed at showing support for Libya's new interim authority. There are growing fears in Bangkok that rising floodwaters may breach the city's defences. Frantic efforts are being made to add more than one million sandbags to barriers in the north of the city. The death toll from the floods affecting much of Thailand has now risen to more than 300. The Commonwealth Director of Public Prosecution says the large number of people smuggling cases is putting a strain on his budget. Chris Craigie says he's had to bring forward $900,000 each month from his budget just to cope with those demands. He says 83 people smuggling trials will commence this financial year alone. And Qantas says it will continue to ground more planes if its engineers continue overtime bans. The airline will ground another two planes from Monday and has cancelled 80 more flights over the next four weeks. Qantas has rejected an offer by engineers to remove some overtime bans if they're paid extra money.